you come up with your rehab budget and then how often do you stick to that or go over? Oh, uh, good question. Um, rehab budget is a little complex if you're brand new to the business. Um, I think there's a couple different ways that you can do it. Number one, uh, and I know people are going to just hate me because I, I just harp on this, but having a niche. I mean, this is why I don't do new stuff over, you know, all the time. I'm not bouncing around from single family flips to three family, you know, gut rehabs to this and that. Um, I come up with my rehab budgets because it's tr number one trial and error. I've done it before. I've, I've got a three family. They're all roughly 3000 square feet. Um, they're stacked up the same. You run into the same issues over and over again. Um, and you just know. So, I mean, essentially number one, you can kind of, uh, take an old existing rehab budget, um, figure out the things that you did wrong on the last one and make adjustments to the new one. Um, you can also, um, if you're newer and you've never done one, if you say, Willie, I don't have any experience, uh, base it on square foot, you know, base it on square footage for your particular market. Now this is going to be, if you're watching this video and you're in Texas, if you're watching this video and you're in Nebraska, you're going to have a different number than what I have. And that's going to come from understanding your market and talking to contractors and just, um, you know, the little nuances that come from kind of doing it and being in the business. But I would say for me, a light cosmetic rehab, um, we're somewhere around $50 a square foot. So a light cosmetic rehab on a three family. So it's essentially me flipping three families or, or flipping um, or remodeling three single families altogether. Three bedroom, one bath, units, kitchen, uh, living room. Um, so I'm about, uh, again, each one is about 3,000 square feet for the entire building. So $50 a square foot puts me at about $150 for my rehab budget. Light cosmetic. A full gut. I'm going to say closer to a hundred dollars a square foot. So it's going to take me about 300,000, maybe a little bit more, maybe three and a quarter in today's market. Lumber prices are going up. Uh, contractors want a little bit more money, three to three and a quarter for a full gut rehab. Um, and maybe closer to I'm building a 3000 square foot building, two and a quarter, um, to 250 on a full, uh, ground up construction because now basically you're, you're including your framing, you're including a foundation, um, you're including the sheathing, a new roof, and all of that good stuff. So, um, $50 on your, um, you multiply your, your, you know, your square footage budget times the amount of square footage. So, 50 times 300 or 3,000 puts me at about $150,000 a square foot. Um, $100 rehab, $100 a square foot rehab on a gut renovation puts me about uh, three to 325. Um, and then a ground up construction would probably put me about six to 650, um, maybe a little bit more uh, for ground up uh, construction. So that's the second way to do it. Number one is kind of understanding the, the nuances, understanding your, your backyard, understanding um, what it takes, um, and then just kind of you know refining that budget as you go along. Um, number two would be, um, to do it based on square foot. And number three is essentially just a combination of the two. Um, if you have no experience whatsoever, um, number one, you're going to either, if it's a straight, you know, cosmetic rehab, you might just guess, um, number, but, but if you are doing a larger project, then what, essentially what you would do is for the first couple of times, it's the same thing I did. You hire a contractor and you get contractors, at least three or four contractors to bid on it. You would probably hire a contractor to do the remodel. And then in the future, you would say, Hey, I'm doing something very similar to what I've done in the past. I'm just going to basically use that with with a with a slight little bump, 10%, 15% for inflation, depending on how much of a time frame there was in between uh, you doing the initial one and you do you bidding on the second one. Um, and the second part of your question, how often do we stay on target? Never. Uh, absolutely never. Um, there's always going to be something that you didn't anticipate. Even when you um, try to anticipate everything, there's always going to be something else that pops up. Um, right now, we have several projects where um, we have, you know, a lot of lot more rot on the sill, um, a lot more rot in the entire house uh, than we anticipated uh, from the beginning. And we even put a 20% contingency budget in there for rot. Um, our roof was in a lot rougher shape than anticipated. Um, our permitting cost was a lot more than uh, anticipated. Um, 
the street permits have gone up, right? We don't have a place in our front yard for a dumpster. Um, there's a retaining wall and we can't place a dumpster up on the retaining wall, so we had to get a street permit. Cost us a lot more money. So there's always gonna be things that uh, run your budget up and the, in a perfect world, you'd have a small 10%, 15%, maybe even a 20% contingency if you're just starting out that says, hey, I'm definitely gonna miss something and something's definitely gonna be screwed up. Let me, uh, let me account for that in this, uh, in this contingency. So um, putting a rehab budget is not, is not easy. Putting a rehab budget together is not easy, but it's one of those things that you have to kind of just get out there, do it, um, and then, you know, uh, and see what happens. And then from there, you, have, you gain experience, you learn. Some things you're going to be way off on, some things you're going to overbid. I still do it today. I overbid so many different things, and I underbid so many different things. But the idea is that hopefully they balance out and keep me in line with the total budget um, and that, what I'm spending is still way less than uh, than my ARV would be, and at the end of the day, I still have a uh, a healthy profit.